Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Milford Ice Pavilion for tonight's SCC Division II contest between your Guilford Indians and the home team, the Indians of Milford High School. I'm Dean Cornelio, Jeff Horton doing the difficult work. Behind the camera, Guilford on a 3-0-1 streak, their last game, a 2-2 tie with Division I Amity. Indians 10-3-2 overall. 3-0 atop the SCC Division II standings. Milford comes in 10-6 overall, and they are 2-2 two two in the SCC Division II. They've lost their last two games to North Brantford and Daniel Hand by scores of 7-3 and 4-2. They're going to try and right the ship today, and we are underway here from Milford. Faulkner Veloso the start in net. The usual five of Nelson Moore... Ring, Fitzgerald, and Horton. Yeah, break away. Come on, let's go. Ring. Hit. Starting goaltender is Matt White for Milford. Slapper blocked. And Nelson's going to have to hustle back. He's negated a couple opponents' chances just by his hustle coming back, including our last game against Amity in overtime. He negated one of their best scoring chances of the extra period. Here's Horton. Pass intercepted. Moore will force it deep. Horton. And it's Jared Butts that gets there first and send it near wall. And around to Rick Sear. By him. And to center. Venter. Venter will wrist in. On goal. Cataruza. He'll keep it. Nice pass down low, the backhander off the side of the net by James Mackey. Venter's got it, Venter shoots wide. Picked up by Will Vitelli. And sent down, that'll go for icing against the Milford Indians. Milford lost to Branford, beat Sheehan, beat Lyman Hall and lost to Daniel Hind in conference play. The Indians still have hand remaining on the schedule. That'll be next week. And this game here today to round out their SCC play. They have already beaten Sheehan, Branford, and Lyman Hall thus far. Opening couple of minutes. No score. Cataruza around to Venter. The Indians have the breakout. That's Donahue. Donahue had a goal against Amity. The other team's first goal in that one. Here's Venter. Reach the center stripe and flip in. That's Di Pascali, number yeah. four in the white. Picked up by 22, Danny Sear, who gets it out and then proceeds to get knocked down by Baddock. Di Pascali goes D to D. Nelson. Keeps it in and again sends his man flat to the ice. And another hit by Nelson. Paddock accepts the pass. He'll send in. And Matt White will hang on. White comes in with a 3.637 goals against average. Jack Fitzgerald steps into the face-off circle. Horton to the point, it's Moore. Moore shoots wide. Nelson steps up. Horton covering for him at the point. Ring has it. Billy tries to reverse. He gets the puck back though. Behind the net. And it's taken over by Milford. Bounces past Fitzgerald and Moore. Nelson is back there first. Milford on a line change. Over three minutes into play. No score. That pass finds Fitzgerald's stick and then it's poked away from him. Indians delayed offside. Billy Ring doesn't realize it. Now he has to come back. Horton doesn't either. Indians still off. Yeah, Matty I! <laughs> That's McLenifin. He skated right through the crease. Did you see that? Craig Wargo drops it. This is the Milford top unit. McLenifin right there with the puck. He's got 12 points. Wargo, he leads the team with 23 goals, 43 points, and the Indians have a break. 
and didn't get much on that as it rolled wide of Faulkner Pelosa. Then he tips one behind the net. And we have a penalty coming up. So the Indians shorthanded Matt Horton off. Tripping Nicole, Milford on the man advantage. Shot redirected, it was tipped just wide. To the line, not out. Towards the net. Picked up, that's the man they want. Well, that's McLenathan. He's got 12 points. And the Indians clear. Up here for Zach White, he's got 39. 15 goals, 39 points. So that's one of the men they want to shoot it. Off a of skate, look out, walking in. Faulkner Filosa, the save, good stop there. On the leading score from Milford, Craig Wargo, who gloves it down now. Wargo will shoot, deflected by Mackey. Picked up McLenathan. Minute remaining on the Milford power play. Ten minutes to go, first period, still no score. Nice look across. And just out of the reach of Zach White. And he'll have to retreat. Quickly back in. Wargo. Wargo going to the front of the net. Couldn't get a stick on it. Venter checks Wargo. Good play by Cataruza to get a stick on it. And it's backhanded out of the zone by Venter. Fitzgerald on the floor check. DJ Olson passes it up to center. Sent in by Nick DePascali. And that goes into the Guilford bench for a whistle. Eight seconds left on the Horton penalty. Glove down. And ring blocked at it. Goes up into the ceiling. And a whistle. Paleko will take the face off. And Milford controls it. Fitzgerald. Indians are back to full strength. Fitz bangs it off the glass to the Milford line. Moore and Horton on the attack for Guilford. Nelson's got it. Nice look to Moore. Takes the hit. Gets it deep. Horton in on Ben LaValle. And Ring trying to take it from LaValle. Fitzgerald then to help him gets bumped from behind. Moore steps up. Milford hemmed in and it gets by Nelson out to center. Milford coach Sal Follow animated over there on the opposing Indians bench. And Donahue stepping up. He'll quickly send back in. Mikey Ring after it. Lavalley beats him to it. Sent around by McLenathan. Aaron pass right up the middle there. Lucky no Guilford players were right there. Baddock. And taken from Brian Donahue. Slapped off of Nelson. A little over halfway through period one. No score. Dean Cornelio, Jeff Horton with you. That hit him. Odd board support there. Knocked down. That'll be a high stick, but the Indians play it, so it's waved off. Donahue in on it. Donahue, stick lift and check on 24. Jared Butts. To the point, Venter steps into it, and it goes into the wrong net over the glass for the whistle. Face off outside the Milford zone. This rink, one of the darkest that we have been in this season. Lighting not good. Maybe a bit, little better out there, but up here. It's like a dark room. There's Mackey. Mackey takes the shot blocked, and Venter will have to come out to center ice. Cataruza 
Played it off the back of the net and a backhander by Zach White. Faulkner Filosa made the save. Cataruza, a rare mistake. Don't see him cough it up too often back there. Venter gives a look. Two Milford players in on him. Need some help. And here's Salkins. Stepping up. That's Cataruza. Nice. Try to feather it right through to Fitzgerald. Horton steps up. Venter plays it across. Horton is there. Around the dasher and ring. Indians have to move. Ring played it over to Cataruza. He shoots. Good opportunity there, Fitzgerald. To ring. Dropping it and it goes out of the zone. Cataruza dumps it back in. On it is Dave McLenathan. Horton. Trying to get it to ring, and the net has apparently come off its moorings, and the whistle. 5.25 to go, first period. This is the third game of the week for the Indians. They beat Weathersfield in tied Amity. So three games in five days. Fitzgerald trying to pick the corner up high and miss the spot. That gets by Nelson. And more back for it. So Indians, because of a few makeups, three games this week, three games next week. So it'll be a tough stretch to end the season. And Fitzgerald got gathered the puck in, but the Indians offside. Donahue, Vanek, and Ring. Picked up by Sear. He gets it in. Donahue's there. And here's Ryan Moore, over to Mike Ring. Mike slaps it in, Baddock held the line, Indians are on sides. Donahue, backhand pass to Baddock, he shoots from the angle, a stick save by Matt White. And Nelson, I don't think they're gonna beat him with his speed. Sure enough, he got back for it and beat Nick DiPascali to the buck. John DiPascali hit by Donahue. Trying to reverse it to the corner. Ring came in to help him, so nobody's there. And it's flipped over more. Nelson, again, Di Pascali bothering him, and it was carried in offsides by Ben Lavalle. 4.02 to play, first period. Mackey, Salkins, Doyle, Cataruza, and Venter. One back for Jared Butts. And he was knocked down by Matt Doyle. Play in the corner, right out in front of the slot. And it's broken up by Salkins. Cataruza hit Doyle with that attempted clear, allowing Milford to keep it in the zone. Venter stops, holds onto the puck. Mackey makes a move to his backhand and the Indians are out of the zone. Salkins applying the one-man forecheck as the rest of his line mates change up and Ring steps on. Billy has Fitzgerald and he dropped it just out of his reach. Salkins completing the change as Horton will come out on the ice. Fitzgerald shot, deflected. Didn't go anywhere for him. High off the glass, out of the zone. And a nice play there to get by the Indians, Billy Ring. Nice look across, and Faulkner Falosa closed the door on Will Vitelli. Nice save there by Chad. Ring taken down, got the stick up around his neck, no call. Horton. Back to Fitzgerald, he'll wind and slap one, rebound wide. Good opportunity for Ring, Fitzgerald put it on goal. White the good stop, ring the save. Or excuse me, ring put it wide. <laughs> Here's Cataruza. Just over two minutes to go, first period. Cataruza slaps it in. Mike Ring steps on. 
Tripped up. Nothing there. Horton. And it's changing. It's Cataruza kicking it forward. Now between him and Baddock. So it's Venter. Set up ice. Cataruza. Baddock between the legs of Ring. And going forward is Donahue. Nice play off the wall by TJ Olsen. More hit Olsen. Olsen will flip it towards the net and Faulkner Pelosa makes the save with a minute 21 to play in the first period. Minute 21 to go. Hit me with your best shot playing in the background. Let's see if either team can hit the opposition with their best shot here in the final minute 15. Couple of hits on Will Vitelli. Here's Nelson. Derek steps up. Doyle, he hits Salkins, and that may have hit him in the ankle. That doesn't feel too good. Club save, rebound, Salkins there, two banks at it. Mackey put it wide. Great opportunity there for Guilford. Garrett found it on his stick at the last moment right in front of the goaltender, White, who managed to make a glove save, so a good stop by White in the late stages of this period. Rister, and that somehow got through. Faulkner Filosa made a pad save on it. John Pascali, the shot, he shoots again, and it's tipped just wide of the cage by Craig Wargo. Ten seconds to play. Mackey, here's Salkins. And he'll dump to center, and that will do it here in period number one. So an evenly played first. No one able to break the ice just yet. So after one period of play, Guilford Indians and Milford Indians are scoreless. We're back for the start of the second period here from Milford Ice Pavilion. Indians and Indians are scoreless. And I'm joined now by John Knapp. John, welcome. Thank to you, Dean. Milford, and I'm glad you found the correct <laughs> arena <laughs> after stopping by a pit stop in East Haven first. <laughs> Big difference between yeah. the home and away game. Nelson uh, Fitzgerald, that was blocked, and Milford will clear the zone. That will go for icing against Milford. So they announced the first period shots as 5-5. I find that a little bit hard to believe since Guilford had the majority of the play down the Milford zone. But... I think That's the scorekeepers, uh, Dean, add, uh, <laughs> well, they don't add. They, they, they count the shots differently. Some people are, are you know, saves. Subjective. Are, yeah, it's, very, it's a very subjective move, I yeah. think. Ring. He'll shoot from the bad angle. It's deflected wide. Billy gets it out to Fitzgerald. There's more. Down to the hammer. And he got hammered that time. That's a rare occurrence. John McLenathan planted him into the wall. And that is a... Offsides. Offsides on Guilford. Billy Ring picked up that puck on the way out of the zone and uh, stopped play as a result. So quick story from last night. I was at the Connecticut Whale game against Springfield. And who do I see? I kind of was told, but... The Guilford Boys and Girls Indoor Track Team made an appearance with Coach John Rivera, who's one of the PE teachers Is at Guilford right? High School. And I got to tell you, they ruled the Jumbotron. They were all over. There's a whistle. They ruled that thing. They were on there six or seven times at the first period, four times. They were dancing. The second period, two of them got on the kiss cam, <laughs> and they completely <laughs> turned the other way and didn't want any piece of it. And then the last period, they got on there and they showed them both eating ice cream and then they were embarrassed and <laughs> you know how that goes in. <laughs> so they seem to have a really good time, a great game as the Whale won a 6-3 decision. So great. a good night to be had by everybody. And again, the Guilford track team ruled the, uh, the big screen. Indians 
Mackey trying to play back to Doyle. Here's Caterusa stepping up to Mackey, and oh, Garrett Salkins is already in the zone. <laughs> play starts up again, back into the uh, Indians. That's the Milford Indian zone. And near side Venter. And hit a skate. Donahue. Cataruza lunges to keep. Venter was going to help him, and then Venter couldn't keep it in near side. A lot of stick checking, and somebody's got to control that puck. Picked up there by Ricky Sear. And more. Ryan will step in. Sent wide. It was deflected. Ring to Venter. John shot off a leg. And the net comes off as Derek Baddock played it almost right off the goaltender. He tried to bank it off that goaltender and in. That would have been a heck of a play, but nonetheless, the whistle for the net off its moorings. I tell you, Dean, I've seen that bank shot off the goalie more than once, but you don't see it in high school very often. No, certainly on TV at the yeah. NHL level. And Indians able to play it behind the net. There's a couple, couple of Milford players lurking in the center of the ice. Nelson, and he tried to flip it over. Instead, it was taken by Craig Wargo, Milford's leading scorer. 23 goals, 43 points. Nelson. Ring let it go to Moore. Now, Ring steps up. Fitzgerald helping him out. Will Vitelli sends it near side. Wargo off the wall of one on one against Ryan Moore. And a good job by him to keep Zach White. Not able to let him come out in the middle of the ice. And that slapper was stopped by Faulkner Filosa, shot by John McLenathan. Three and a half into the second period. Still no score. And that goes into the netting and the whistle. Face off to the left of Faulkner Filosa. James Mackey gets it back to Ryan Moore. Tipped out of the zone. Hustling after it is Doyle. Salkins on the near side and he's got it. Doyle in for the help. Doyle, one of the team's tri-captains. Mackey to the point Moore. That's blocked. Ryan Moore will take it at center. Salkins, it's in the skates of what was number 19, Ben LaValle. LaValle's back for it now. Kept in, Salkins. Nice play nice to the up. middle, Moore. Ooh. Had it knocked off his stick. Couldn't get a shot off. Poked by Donahue. Moore makes a move to the middle. Glove save by Matt White. Looks like there was a little extracurricular at the end of that play. Yeah. Well, the, the goaltender, they were open for a rebound, of course. Right. But nothing there. Donahue wins it back to Venter. He'll wind and shoot. Stick save rebound in front. Mike Ring trying to wrist it on goal. Unable to do so. And then that went off of uh, perhaps that scoreboard and the whistle. Nine fifty six to go, second period. Milford wins the face off. Venter a nice play there. And he Backhands to Baddock. Cataruza has it. Top the circle, shooting wide. Mike Ring. 
And sent a little too hard back for Venter. Here's Ben LaValle, the defenseman. He's got 11 points on the season. LaValle. And Milford's out of the zone. It's a foot race. Venter is back there. Another man going to the net. They tried the drop pass. And that goes right in on Faulkner Filosa. And it's under him. And the official, I think, lost sight of it. So yeah. that was an odd play kind of all Quick around at the, right. at the end of the play there. So I, I got the feeling, Dean, that uh, the, the, the official lost sight of that puck, conveniently lost sight of that puck. And uh, just as it squeaked past, Faulkner flows into the center of the crease. There is a penalty up on the board. So we didn't see what the call was. I didn't even notice it. So Indians are shorthanded. Not sure. Couldn't, couldn't pick up why Donahue, Brian Donahue's in the penalty box, but he is. It's a two-minute penalty, 8.54 left. And the shot right on for wow. Veloso the save. Good stop there on John McLenathan. Across, shot, stick save, rebound, look out! Walker Veloso sprawled across. Indians out of danger? Not really. Not really. Love down. Again, a stick save by Chad. Finally, Venter will relieve some of that pressure. So there's Milford, there's four start. or five uh, saves that Chad's made where that puck's popped up in the air. That Cataruza. makes it a dangerous yeah. situation. And that'll be icing against Milford. So the Indians penalized again. Uh, Jack Fitzgerald joining Brian Donahue for a little party in the penalty box. Yikes. Five on three for a minute, eight seconds. Golden opportunity for the opposing Indians to get the lead. <laughs> Nelson in the bench. Face off to Faulkner Filosis, right? Indians have more Nelson and Billy Ring who will attempt to play the triangle here. Billy has got to be cautious. He generally likes to go, go, go and get some shorthanded opportunities, but the aggressiveness has worked so far, probably surprising Milford That's right. a little bit. There's 35 seconds left of five on three time. Nelson stick lifted, played it back to Ryan Moore and sends it down. Glove, nice play by 25 Olsen. He's got help. Drop pass across. Oh, and that was a good chance to tip it home, but Nick DiPascali could not do so. Went off the side of the net. The Indians clear. Brian Donnie will be back in 10 seconds. That's going to go for icing against Milford. Five on three, and they ice the puck. Yikes. So the Indians are seconds away from getting Brian Donahue back. It's now a five on four as Matt Horton steps out for Guilford. Knocked out on the high stick. Moore plays it and sends it down the ice. That's his third time doing that route. Good penalty kill so right. far. When you're looking for something to build upon, you kill off a five on three. There's icing. That perfect. This kind of kill will certainly, you know, spur some excitement, some momentum, and That's right. maybe get the offense clicking. 6.41 to go here in the second period. 25 seconds left of Milford power play time. Ryan Moore tried to get a shot off, could not as he skated into the slot area. Uh -oh. Nice look over here. Trying to get inside out of Derek Nelson, and Nelson turned him away. That was their leading scorer, Craig Wargo. Moore stick held. No call. no call. Moore tried to get away from him. Coach Russell fired up over there on the Guilford bench. He's not the most animated at times, but in this instance, we could say a few words that we're not supposed to say on air. <laughs> the Ryan Moore stick was held. 
The official couldn't find it in himself to put his arm up. He was right there watching the whole time. He they was watching. They, they sort of tied up again later uh, after the play. Maybe and, he's and got an arm injury or something. <laughs> and it's funny. The Guilford fans are calling for the penalty. The Milford fans are calling for a penalty. Right. So maybe a no call is the right call. <laughs> Either way, this is going to get intense the more they let him play like that. Because then, as you know, the players begin to take it in their own hands. Nelson, a nice backhand flip to Fitzgerald. Fitzy has ring in front. Fitz hit by 19. Lavalley held along the boards. In front ring trying to get a handle on it. It's in his skates. And they tackle Salkins. Why not for good measure with the takedown points? Venter. Shoots one, stick wow. save by White and Venter. Knocked down as well. Under five minutes to play in the second period. Now the goaltender goes out of his way to shove Garrett Salkins. Winding and slapping is Cataruza. That's blocked, it's a foot race now the other way. Cataruza right with him. Gets a stick in and pumps the puck away. Great play by Zach Cataruza against number 25, TJ Olsen. That's Steve Pascali, who missed the tip earlier when they had the five on three to put a team ahead. He couldn't do so. Off the boards, Fitzgerald, no icing. Shot. Slapper right on a blocker save by Matt White. Good drive by Zach Cataruza, Zach's and that'll finally go for Zach's icing. Ha Zach's having a good shift, Milford. very good shift, Zach Cataruza. Mike Ring will take the face off for Guilford. It's Ring, Sperry, and Baddock. So this is an interesting trio. And that gets by Zach Cataruza. And that'll go for icing again against Milford. 3.45 to play second period. John, we were just commenting, nice musical selection here at the Milford Ice Pavilion. It is, it is. I love the golden oldies. <laughs> it's our generation. A little game. mix. Well, a little yeah. bit. Well, maybe yours, but you know. Uh. <laughs> what are you saying? Baddock. Uh oh. Cataruza, he seems like he's been out there for the last five yeah, minutes. Yeah, what's up? And Derek Baddock didn't time that one right. Here's Venter. Vani gives a look up a. Head for Sperry. Venter again has the middle, and that's going to go for icing against Guilford. That's for a line shift. Three minutes, six seconds to go. Second period. Dean Cornelio, John Knapp, Jeff Horton with you here from Milford Ice Pavilion, SCC Division II contest that's deadlocked at zero. More. He kicks it ahead. Billy Ring. TJ Olsen in on him. Ring and Olsen collide. Derek Nelson adds a little punch and he skates out with it. One of the team captains. Uh oh. Fitzgerald. A penalty coming up to Milford on that one. And the Milford fans are none too happy. So with 2.37 to go, with 2.37 to go, the Indians on the power play as Milford has called Ben LaValle in the box for tripping. That's the first penalty that's been called on Milford and we heard some not so favorable comments <laughs> from the officiating on the Milford that's side. That's right. Yet they've had three power plays, <laughs> including a five on three. This is Guilford's first. Billy Ring, dropping it for Moore. Ring, lost the handle on it, and Milford clears. Nelson 
Got to be careful with that. Yeah, you can't turn the puck over there. Here's Moore. He's got Fitzgerald. Gets it over to him. Puck rolling on him. And Nelson could knock that one down. He'll have to skate it down the ice. Walker Filosa leaving it for him. Over here for more. Minute 10 left on the power play. Off the glass, Moore gloves it down. Ryan's on his backhand, drops it for Fitzgerald. Has ring up top, gets it to him, ring. That's blocked and a shorthanded chance for Milford. Back on it is White, walking in, scores! Zach White, shorthanded. And the Milford Indians take the lead. On a power play goal, uh, excuse me, shorthanded goal. 129 left in the second period. So, ring shot was blocked, and that's what happens sometimes. Zach White, his 16th of the season, assistant captain now has 40 points. Having a good season. Venter. John with the head up, dropping it. Kataruzek with the keep. So he made a move to his backhand and beat Faulkner Filosa stick side. Indians have 30 seconds left of power play time, just over a minute to go, second period. The one timer by Venter rebound is there, and Mackey couldn't put it in. James had a key goal against Weathersfield two games ago to tie it. Cataruza over to Venter. Venter's got a cannon. He lets it go. And a stick save by Matt White. That will uh, just about kill the penalty. No, there's a whistle. So 46.6 to go, and Milford is penalized again. It'll be a five on three just for five seconds. So it's five on four again. The first penalty rolls off. Still a one man advantage. Catarusa shot, stick save, rebound, lay in front. Indians forwards late to get there. Gets by Venter. And Zach White after it, under 20 to play. Here's Ring. They have time for a last rush. Ring. White gets the hook into him. Ring still with it. Ring makes the move. And he lost it off the end of his stick. Looking for Horton. And the goaltender covers with 5.3 to go in the period. So the Indians will leave out Fitzgerald, Ring, and Horton. They add... Oh, they got six players out now. They pull in the goalie with five seconds left. Interesting. So there's six. Venter steps up. It's Moore and Nelson on the point. Five seconds and quickly two seconds go off the clock as it's one forward on Matt White. So that's a design play for Fitzy to win it towards the net as the Indians have Venter and Horton attacking. 3.2 to go. Puck lay there and that's going to do it. So uh, worth the chance with five seconds left. Nothing happens there. And so the Indians of Guilford have a little bit of work to do. They'll have a minute 13 of power play time to start the third period. But it was Zach White scoring shorthanded with a minute 29 to go to give Milford the one nothing lead after two. We'll be back with what should be a good third period in just a moment. You're going to add some color. I like this. this <laughs> Remember, we can edit it out, right? <laughs> yeah, you might have to. <laughs> You're on? This oh, could great. get ugly if they don't okay, smart enough. We are back for the start of third period of play. Guilford Indians have 113 left of power play time, trailing one nothing against Milford. Dean Cornelio, Jeff Ford, and Gary Drake now joining me here. Gary, thanks for uh, coming up. Well, you know, John bailed on you, so I had to do something. Yeah. <laughs> Here's Horton, Fitzgerald. Jack's got it. The Indians can get one here early to really change the momentum. After I thought Guilford would have had it after killing off a five on three, but 
Oh, oh and there oh, it is right there. The blue paint. Derek Nelson nice tried. Nice rip from the point by Nelson. Yeah, and ring right in front of the net. Couldn't poke it home. Forty-nine seconds left on the power play. Opening thirty seconds of the third period. And a nice backhand flip, but there's a souvenir for one of the fans, and she goes. Maybe she can get that one signed. Yeah. <laughs> Nicely, the puck uh, came from the uh, offensive zone, so we'll have an in-zone face-off for us. Still 44 seconds. Fitzy Horton ring Nelson Moore. And we'll try this again. All right. One back. Go for the wins. Nelson. Fitzgerald has it. Up top, Moore. Moore's got a cannon. He lets it go and it went wide. Trying to stuff it oh, in with trip. ring. Oh, no call. Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald shoots. That's blocked. That's how the shorthanded opportunity came. They blocked the shot the and scored on it. Fitzgerald. Tried to wrist it. He's able to keep it in. Final seconds ticking down on the Milford penalty. And I don't know why they blew it dead. It would have been a hand pass. No, there's not a hand pass because you're allowed to do that in your zone. It was, uh, he kept his hand over the puck. Ah, he closed his hand on it. Okay. Four seconds left on the power play. Nelson has a lane, rips it. Oh, nice save. Rebound, no. That's no. Matt White. Gathers it in. Milford back to full strength. Well, this looks like a different team we have out here now, uh, Dean, that we did the last time I saw these boys on the power play. So right towards the goal, Fitzgerald wins it again. That was a play they designed. They had done that late in the second period. Nice job. They did that in the final seconds of the second on that power play. Almost able to bury one late and, and they pulled the goalie, but uh, not the case. Guilford's a third period team though, we've seen it. But they let the other teams hang around as, as you and I both know. Guilford getting the puck down low. Here's Salkin. The slap. Oh, Cody, Doyle. Cody Doyle picks up the tip. Nice shot by Zach Hanaruza from the point. So Guilford controlling the puck nicely on that power play. Doyle will get credit after the power play expired. A minute 35 into play. And that's what the Indians this, needed, Gary, a quick strike. I'm telling you, this line came out at the latter part of the power play in the third period, uh, the second period, and I thought they did a tremendous job moving the puck around. And they come out here in the beginning of the third and do it again. So, I've mentioned it before, but Doyle may not get many goals, but Matt Doyle scores some important goals. Absolutely. Newtown earlier in the year in overtime to win it. That one here to tie it when Guilford needed a, needs a spark, and... Now it's tied. Let's see if they can continue to take over. Zach Cataruza putting a bomb all the way into the corner there. There's Baddock looking for Mackey. Taken by Olsen. Cataruza keeps it in. And he's got to retreat to center. Venter gives a look across. Zach holds the center line. John Di Pascali. Zach has the uh, cat-like reflexes of his brother Christian. So the cat it's comes into Cataruza. <laughs> Good point. Never thought of it that way. And they have a sister who also plays, who's done pretty well for herself on the girls' team. Icing against the Guilford Indians. And that's more. Now Nelson behind the net. Up top, not out. Winding, shooting. Blocked by Moore. 
a hit for Ring, but just out of his reach. Now Moore will step up. Moore shoots one, gloved by Matt White. And he holds as Horton. Guilford's got to get the puck in the zone and control it a little bit in there. Move it around. All these shots from the perimeter, they're goalies having to Seeing it day. all the way. No traffic. Makes life a little easier. Fits a clean win back to Moore. Shoot, oh. there's traffic in front. Never got to the hammer though. Winding, shooting. Nice low shots from the point. There's Horton many. again. <laughs> White might have gotten a pad on that. Or a skate. Here's Nelson. Three and a half in. Oh, okay. Indians offside. Face off will come outside. Flag up. Horton. Now it's Moore. It's a big game in the SEC Division II standings. So is this the first game of the SEC for them? No, they're two and two. This is their last game. For Guilford, three and oh, they still have two, well, this one and one more. And a slash being called. Against Billy Ring. Billy Ring. It's Gerald, Horton, Nelson, and Moore. The penalty killing unit. Good work by Moore. Oh, oh he tried to put it, it still after it off. Tried to put it between the legs. That's Wargo. He's the quarterback and the leading scorer. No offsides. Fitzgerald. Couldn't get around Zach White who has the Milford goal tonight when he scored shorthanded. Horton. Backhand try right on Faulkner Filosa nice kept it out. there by Chad, good positioning. About a minute remaining on the Billy Ring penalty. Oh, and that's oh, an accepted, no. That <laughs> Horton again, diving at it. Non-stop, he's an energy guy, that's why they put him out there. Venter flips it. He'll have a second chance at it. And this time makes no mistake and sends it all the way down. Mackey in on it. Open to surprise the goaltender. Cataruza, Venter. Nice job by Johnny. Mackey. Gets there. Good hustle James. by James. Oh, a little leg trip there. Get some help from Mr. Doyle, who had the Guilford goal earlier in the period. Mackey with it, final five nice. seconds. Good penalty killing here by Guilford. Excellent work, and Ring is out of the penalty box. We got a man oh, nice behind job, that, Zach. behind the Guilford D. They are fortunate that one didn't get through. Leaving it for Ring. Under nine minutes to go in the third period. We're knotted at one after oh, Matt Doyle oh. scored a minute and a half in. And there's a loose puck picked up by oh. Mike Ring. Venter in a foot race with Nick DiPascali. Donahue. Brian dumps it in. Deep. Let's get some hustle here. Cataruza in deep though, nobody holding the point. And that was an easy out for Milford. That's gonna go for icing against the Milford Indians with 8.15 to play. Fitzgerald and Olsen, a pair of 25s to face it off. Knocked down, now it's Nelson, he gets a second out and he carries Nelson deflected. Okay, set it up now, boys. By Di Pascali. Nice. Oh, oh nice ring. Shot. Beautiful, beautiful attempt there by Gilbert. Billy Ring. What a chance as Fitzgerald set it across. 
See, Guilford makes a couple of nice passes in his zone. Boom, they get some pressure. So they, they got to get the puck down low. They got to control it, move it around. Case in point right there. And now it's a one-on-one -on -one potentially. Well, Horton getting back to help. Sent wide by Will Vitelli. Here's Billy nice Ring. there by Billy to get down. Billy. Nice pass across. Oh, nice opportunity there. Tended for Derek Nelson. And that's icing against Milford. James Mackey on the faceoff. Nelson slaps it. Oh, no rebound. And Mackey just for was there a for it. Yep, just for a moment. Nice job with Mackey staying close to the cage. I don't know. Are you all ready for this, Gary? We'll see. 7.16 to go. Let's see what the Guilford Indians can do. Mackey, Salkins, Doyle, Nelson, Moore. This has been their hotline since I've been here, John, uh, Dean. Nelson shot blocked. Here's Moore. And he flips into the far corner. Oh, Salkins takes out the ref. Icing called, nice. Face wow, off come all the way back down. Just one stride, but remaining. Guilford will take it. Brian Donahue, Derek Baddock, Mike Ring, Zach Cataruza, John Venter. It's one back to Venter. Blocked. Nice job by Zach, kicking it in. Oh, Baddick. nice little flip by and Baddock. Covered by Wade. Right on goal. See, had to get those down a little lower. We gotta have someone sitting on the doorstep. But that's nice pressure again by this line. Yeah, you mentioned this line. Baddock had a big goal against Weathersfield. Venter, who's out there to point at a goal against Weathersfield. Donahue, last game, one of the two against Donahue's Amity. Been playing great. I've been playing well, too. Yeah. Best I've seen him play. Cataruza. Nice pressure there by Baddock. And White Did wants no go, more of go. that. <laughs> Top unit comes back out. Horton kicked it behind him and went right to a Milford Indian player. Nice chip there by Zach. Nice little touch over by Fitzgerald. That's Ring. Ring. Billy. Play the puck. Here's. Horton for Cataruza. Ah. That's blocked again. That's how the that's how Milford scored nice. its only goal. And it oh. bounces. Touch it. Ah. <laughs> Just away from ring. Fitz okay. comes back for it. Six minutes to go in the third. Again, the Indians have played a number of close games offsides, and this is good for when you think about the states, Gary, a lot when a lot of close games generally happen. They're 3 0 and one in their last four all one goal games or the tie so when they've won those three one goal games and the tie last in our last contest so in this seemingly going down to another one goal different difference so they will certainly be playoff ready and for close games instead of winning some and when, and when did the playoffs get going a couple of weeks there's still five regular season games including this one so a couple of weeks away Doyle called for it and got it, oh, courtesy of the wide. Milford player. Smart play by him. Nice job by Doyle getting the puck back to the point. Moore. Two Indians collide, oh, shot rebound. right on by Moore. That was Doyle and Salkins. Now Moore shoots it. Oh, oh, no rebound. That's where he wanted the rebound, Dean. And Matt Two White Indians on, on the doorstep. Either way, Gary, the Indians are going to win tonight. Yes, right. We just don't know. We can which. always be sure of that. Puck squirts out in front, and it's Milford who's able to get it out of danger. And dumped in by Vitelli. Faulkner Falosa blockers it aside. Look at the one timer. Nice save by Chad Faulkner Falosa. What a stop. Oh. The one timer, Vitelli, right in front of the net. 5.05 to go here, third period. Fitzgerald against Zach White on the faceoff. Milford fans trying to pump up their team a little bit. Get the chant going here at the Milford Ice Pavilion. 
Milford trying to put a dent into the Guilford Indians SCC record. Guilford 3-0 and and has a clear edge at this point. Milford 2-2 two and two in conference. Billy Ring in a skate. Okay, let's set it up now. Ring to the point. Nelson. Ring oh, back nice. to Nelson. Fitz. And these can't get caught watching them. At times they get caught watching when the players are skating around and uh, not going to mention names, there. but yes. More. Here's Fitzgerald. Oh, nice slash. There. slash. Nothing called Fitzgerald. We'll try and snap it, and that was blocked by John DePascoli. Right on! Oh, oh saving! The, the hammer in front. Horton was there for the rebound, couldn't grab it. It was almost hammer time, Gary. Another slash. Mackey. Got a boy, Matty, get in there. Horton battling, trips his man up. No, no call there. Well, if they're not going to call the slash, they don't call the trip, it's even. Not that, I'm, not that I'm biased, but I think the player actually went down on his own. We'll get the <laughs> replay on that one, John. <laughs> and Brian Moore was in deep on the forecheck. Offsides, though. So <laughs> was fortunate there. Indians catch a break. 3.23 to play, third period. Faceoff outside the Guilford zone. Game still tied at one. It was Zach White in the second for Milford. Matt Doyle early in the third for Guilford. Cataruza. Play up the wall. It was kept in by the point oh. man. Now an opportunity. Shot saved. Oh, nice job by Chad. Oh. Able to stop TJ He had to Olson. close that five hole in a heartbeat, and he did. Olsen bidding for his 11th of the season. Faulkner Filosa said no. And even three to play. Turn around chance. Whoa, up and over. Another good opportunity by Will Gotta Vitelli. Keep that paddle up straight. <laughs> you don't want it on that angle. Mackey. Salkins has it. It's a three on two oh, for Gilford. Sal oh, Salkins can't keep it in. Man. Almost had it and then he just leaned back a little too far. It is a little slippery at times. That ice is slippy, I can assure you that. Here's Mackey. Cataruza with two and a half to play. Got away with one there, it's Salkins. Garrett. Right, nice Garrett move, makes a nice move, shot. shoots! Into oh. the bread basket and he hangs on. Matt White, the stop, closing the door on Garrett Salkins. Rebound would have been sweet there for uh, Baddock. Or 2.21 remaining in the third, still tied. And nice Venter. job by Venter. He'll put a quick wrister. Oh, oh, through traffic too. That's right, Donahue and Ring at the net. And Matt White got the glove up there. Yeah, that was a nice shot through traffic. The official patching the ice beneath him. Oh, Mikey Ring with a quick shot off the faceoff. White had to be alert. And net and look out. They get around Venter. Two on two. Mike Ring back to help. Now Whoa. three men close nice in on the... Nice job on the back check on by the puck uh, handler. Brian Donahue. Mikey Ring was already back there hustling. Out of the zone. Baddock after it. Oh, and Donahue with the hit. Donahue got the elbow up a little bit, but getting a rise out of the Milford crowd. A minute 35 to go. Uh, oh, hit the official. We got nice lucky break. bounce there. And Mike Ring slaps it into the far corner. Going for a change. Ring, Fitzgerald, and Horton will come out. <coughs> for most of the rest of this one. Nelson winds and shoots. Hit the defense. Puck in front, here's Fitzgerald, he's got it! And it went into the net, but oh, over yeah. the glass for a face-off. Minute 13 to play. 
Fitzgerald. I just, I just noticed the Milford coach looks a lot like Punch Imlac, the Montreal Canadiens, many moons ago. You're talking before my time, Gary. I'm, they got the I'm fedora sorry. on. <laughs> Horton. Milford got lucky there. Now under a minute to go, and we get a whistle as the puck is underneath the Milford player. Face so it's to the point. Milford. Moore. Bouncing puck in front of the net, and Milford will control. 45 seconds to go. Oh, Milford. Billy Ring, got to be Look careful. Out, loose puck, they score. Another loose puck and a mistake as the puck came in front, and Zach White buries it. So with 39.7 to go, 39.7 left. Zach White has second of the night. And Milford leads 2-1. I would expect Milford to call a timeout. Try and calm the troops. 39 seconds, a lot of time. They beat Faulkner Filosa short side on the stick side. No timeout. Wow. And Fitzgerald, look out. Fitz. Here's more. Wide of the net. They got to set now up. Now Faulkner Falos is out of the cage. And the Indians are going to get called for too many men. Faulkner Filosa was not outside, was not in the bench. The player stepped out. And they're going to call Guilford for too many with 26.5 left. Matt Doyle, I think, will step into the wall. He's talking to the officials first. 26.5 left, Indians have been penalized. Coach Ralph Russo contesting the call. And they immediately send it in, Faulkner Filosa not coming to the bench. Now this surprises me. They dump the puck in, you're down a goal. And why Chad wasn't coming to the bench on that one? They didn't give him a penalty, one? so that was... Well. I thought they were gonna give them a penalty, I did as well. There's no, there's no penalty, so. Nelson. Towards the net, Horton's gonna try and get a quick shot, wide, and Milford wins it. Milford with a upset of the Guilford Indians, two to one. That is Guilford's first loss in SCC play, which means, Gary, when you look at the standings now, it's interesting. Milford improves to three and two. Guilford falls to three and one. Their last game is against Hand. Hand beat this Milford team 7-3. They're going to be a tough matchup for Guilford. If Hand wins that, Indians fall to 3-2 and two in the conference. Milford has the head-to-head -head because they beat them. And they both be 3-2. and two. Right. So what will happen in SCC play, that is to be determined now. Guilford had the clear hand, upper hand. But now it's up for grabs. So a disappointing finish for Guilford. Matt Doyle got him started early in the third. A minute 35 in, but Zach White has the last laugh. He got the game's first goal in the second. He gets the game's last goal with under 40 seconds to play. And Milford holds on for a two to one victory. So that's gonna wrap it up from here, from Milford Ice Pavilion. So for John Knapp, Gary Drake, Jeff Horton, I'm Dean Cornelio. Good night from Milford Ice Pavilion. Once again, the final, Milford Indians 2, Guilford Indians 1.